Hi, welcome and thank you very much for your interest in the Chinese Studies Programme here at Cambridge. My name is Rule Sturks. I am the Joseph Needham Professor of Chinese History, Science and Civilization in the university here, where I've been working for the last 18 years. My own research interests focus on the cultural history, religion, and thought of pre-imperial and early imperial China. I'm interested in text and manuscript studies. I'm interested in the philology of classical and literary Chinese. My work is inspired to some degree by questions asked in the history of science and anthropology. I have an ongoing interest in knowledge regimes, in forms of knowledge about the natural world in particular, in pre-modern China. So I'm interested in cultural ecology, in agricultural thought, in natural history. I've also worked on, the on food and dietary culture and how it intersects with Chinese religion and philosophy. Another area of interest is the interplay between moral and material values in Chinese thought. More specifically, I'm hoping to learn more about early, Chinese, early China's religious economy, about the role of the professions during the formation of the Chinese empire, about gift culture, about Chinese views on wealth creation and poverty. In my own teaching and also in my work, I emphasize that the study of Chinese thought should be more than simply a history of ideas or philosophy in the strict sense of the word, if you like. So what I try to do is encourage my graduate students to take an active interest in the actual societies, the communities, the social structures, and the material context that produces the world of ideas in early China. Now graduate programs, of course, that focus on the study of pre-modern China offer or differ rather a great deal between institutions. So it's important that you explore whether Cambridge is the right fit for you. I supervise students who take a one-year master's degree as well as doctoral students. Now, unlike in some other graduate programs, the Cambridge program in pre-modern China is aimed at graduates who have had some prior training in Chinese studies, either in the form of a BA or an MA in Chinese language, Sinology, or in any other related humanities discipline. What this means practically is that in addition to an advanced proficiency in modern Chinese, most of our applicants, and most of our students who come here will have had training in classical Chinese up to say an intermediate level. Now in our one year MPhil then, we aim to expose our students to the broad field and introduce them to the sources and methods required to conduct research and work on the period in question. But most importantly, what we try to do is offer intensive training in classical Chinese and in the close reading of texts in literary Chinese. And this really is the major component of the menu for our MPhil students in pre-modern Chinese studies. Our PhD candidates come to us either through a one-year MPhil or they join us directly from a master's program elsewhere. With prior training, the doctoral program itself realistically will take you about four years. Now, we have been studying pre-modern China at Cambridge, you know, for quite some time. The chair of Chinese was established in 1888, and Cambridge has and continues to be the home of some of the most important scholars in this field. Now, this also means that our library resources for the study of pre-modern China are excellent. Those collections are housed in the university library and in libraries across Cambridge. Another vibrant and vital and unique resource at Cambridge is the Needham Research 
which not only hosts the best library collection in the world for the study of Chinese history, medicine, science and technology, but it is also a very vibrant hub where visiting scholars, Cambridge faculty and our graduate students meet and work and participate in weekly text reading seminars. So thank you very much for your interest. And if you are fascinated by the study of early and imperial China, Cambridge might just be the place for you. And we would be delighted to hear from you. Bye for now and stay safe.